All right, you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. So, I'm opening this window. Um, what's up? Today is Saturday. I thought I would film a little weekend vlog. Today, me and Tyler went grocery shopping, kind of had like a slow morning. We didn't wake up till like 10 a.m. <laughs> which I have never like slept in that long before. And I think it's partly because of the time change. Like I have not been able to get used to this time change, you guys. I don't know if it's just me. I have been just like really struggling with like getting used to waking up. Like I just feel like I'm so behind. And even when I try to go to sleep early, like my body's just in the morning, like it just, I can't seem to get out of bed. It's the weirdest thing and I, I just don't know what to do. So tomorrow, well tonight, I'm gonna try to go to bed early because tomorrow we're actually going antique shopping to the Long Beach Antique Market. So if you guys haven't heard of this flea market, it is literally like iconic. There's 400 vendors, like so many different vendors, a bunch of antique pieces. So you guys know we're still decorating our apartment and we're looking for like some pieces. So I'm excited to go. Me and Tyler are gonna go with our friend Nicole. So we're just gonna go and see. Um, but we have to wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> because the early admission starts at 5.30. So I need to go to bed early partly so that I can get a little bit better on waking up earlier. And then also because I have to wake up at 4 a.m. It's gonna be tough, but we'll get through it. This week is gonna be kind of chill. As next weekend, we are actually going on a little kind of like mini vacation, like weekend getaway. Me, Tyler, and a bunch of our friends are all going up to Paso Robles to do some wine tasting for one of um, Tyler's friend's birthday. I'm very excited. We have not been like on, like kind of like a getaway trip in a while, because obviously, duh. We're very excited to get away, drink some wine. We are all getting tested. We actually need to book our appointment today. Everyone is getting tested that's going. Like you have to get a test. Otherwise you can't go. So we all just obviously want to be safe. So we're all getting a test before we go. Everything is good. I'm very excited for the weekend trip. I have been like shopping for a bunch of stuff. I like got some new stuff in. Let me actually show you guys. Got some new stuff in. And I guess I was kind of waiting to compile everything to show you guys. Um, but I got some new bikinis. I'm so excited about them. So I got this one. I will link all of these things down below um, because it's bikini season and I have been starting to work out. We'll talk about that. Um, so here's this one. It's like a leopard print. So cute. Just like a little bandeau. Really cute little tie in the front from Nasty Gal. Um, I had a leopard bikini before, but I had to throw it out. I forget why. So I wanted to get another one. I just think leopard on dark skin looks so good. And these are the bottoms. They're very cheeky. Like this is the front. Like I don't know whose punani this is covering. Not mine. So I have to like make it, you know, a little open a little bit. <laughs> like a little bigger. But I love the ties on the side. It is very cheeky. So if you don't like cheeky bikinis, I would not get it. But if you do then totally get it. I personally love cheeky bikinis. I mean, you're already wearing a bikini, so you might as well go all out, you know what I mean? This is the next one. Really pretty, like, teal green blue color. I don't know, I don't know, I don't own anything in this color, so I wanted something fun and different. This one I like because it has like a little V in the front. I don't know if I'm gonna put pictures on here or not. Um, I did try these all on already, so if you guys wanna see what they look like, I don't know, I haven't decided. So I'll either put photos or the links down below will show you guys what they look like. But this is really cute. Again, I really love the ties on the side. I just feel like it's just more flattering. And then this is the top, kind of ruched. I know it looks like it doesn't cover that much, but I have itty bitty titties, so it does. And there's like a bunch of ties, so very sexy. I actually got the same one in a red color because I don't know, I just love red bikinis. And so I also got this little sarong from Amazon, surprisingly. And I just was trying it on. I'll try this one on for you guys because it's not as revealing. I feel like an all red bikini moment. Are you kidding? Like, look at that. Like just like a little 
angle. Obviously, I don't have a bikini on, but little sarong from Amazon. So cute. And with the red bikini, I think it's going to look so good. Just all red. Oh my God, such a vibe. So I got this. This was super affordable from Amazon. This is like $10. I'll link this exact one below. So the red bikini hasn't come in yet, but it is on the way. I'm like prepping because I haven't been on vacation. So I'm just like trying to have fun with all these bikinis. And this one is another kind of like cheeky one. This one's green though. Just like a really pretty green color. And then it has a little tie on the side. Cute. And then the top is another bandeau style. I just feel like if you have small boobs, bandeau styles look really good. So I got this one and then it has like a little front tie as well. I don't know if they took a photo in this, but again, I'll link all of these bikinis down below. Um, and then the last thing that I got is this cute little jumpsuit from Revolve, which was actually 50% off, so a really good deal right now. They only had extra small, which is my size. This even fits me a little bit big, um, but I think it's so cute. So this for wine tasting, I feel like would be really cute, just like a denim jumpsuit has pockets in the front has a little tie so you can make it like cinched on your waist and then has pockets on the back just like a cute little bikini you know a bikini <laughs> cute little jumpsuit and i thought they would also i thought they would also go cute with these shoes that i picked up from h and i don't know if i showed these before I have been on off of my vlogging game, you guys. I don't know what it is. I just have not been motivated, but today I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna vlog, it's gonna make me feel better, and it has, so that's why I'm vlogging. Um, but yeah, I got these little heels. So cute, just like brown. Like this is nude. I hate when like heels say nude heels and they're like not nude, you know what I mean? Like they're beige. Like that's nude on like half of the population. The other half of the population, that's not nude. This is nude for chocolate, okay? So I found these at H&M. They were such a good deal, like $20. I'm gonna see if I can find these online. They have like the square um, toe and then a really short heel, which is perfect. The only thing is that it's like more of like a stick heel, which I don't know if that really goes with winery vibes, but oops. I don't know. I thought the combination was super cute. Just like, you know, legs, give me legs, jumpsuit, so cute. So that's what I got. I'm just prepping for next weekend because that is when we're going. And I'm just very excited to drink wine and do all of this. I also got one more thing. I got these glasses from Amazon also because I lost my other ones. So I, I have these glasses already, which is the funniest part, but I genuinely don't remember where I put them. So these are like so affordable that I was like, you know, I'm just gonna get myself another pair because they're so good. Like, imagine this with the all red bikini outfit. It's a freaking vibe. Like, these are so good. And my red nails, they're, I'm like all over the place. But there are so many things that I need to put you guys on to. Next are these nails from um, Kiss. So I have been really tempted to go get my nails done. But then I'm like, I don't want to spend $60 on a full set to like get the, you know, gel X because that's what I like. I found these acrylic, not acrylic. I found these press on nails at CVS you guys and they are next level. I literally, before I post this video, I'm actually gonna place an order of like six packs because I don't want you guys to sell them out. But these nails, these, these are like a week old so they don't look as fresh, but they literally look like I went and got my nails done. They, looks super clear like usually with fake nails you can tell like press on nails you can tell that they're fake because the bud like this part 
is like white and opaque. It's not like clear and it doesn't look like your actual nail bud. With these, they actually look like my nail bud. I think I've had two people compliment these nails and like I was just like doing random things like giving my credit card, you know, like not like not doing the extra, like not doing the most, like literally just doing random things and they're like, oh my God, I love your nails. So these are actually really good. I'm gonna link these also down below because they're like honestly the best nails that I have found and I think I'm gonna just keep doing these. I think this week I'll film um, and show you guys how I do my nails at home. Like literally this is about a $5 manicure. I'm gonna put you guys on. So I'm gonna film that this week and I'll show you guys how I do my nails. It's literally the easiest thing. Um, I'm trying to think of everything that I have not shown you guys. I do have some new stuff in from Freck. If you guys have heard of them, they kind of coined the um, freckle pen, like faux freckles. And so they sent me a bunch of stuff. So thank you Freck for sending these. Oops. Um, so this is the Freck XL. So kind of like faux freckles. I've never tried faux freckles before because I already have like natural faux freckles, AKA hyperpigmentation. <laughs> so like, you know, adding more, I'm not sure. But I thought I would try this as a makeup look one day. And it's like just really natural. Let me get my mirror. Have any of you guys tried this trend? The freckle trend? I've never tried it, but I feel like it looks so cute on other people. So I think just let that dry. I don't know. People with freckles are probably like trembling right now. Like <laughs> if I had freckles, I'd be like, ha, huh, I don't have to do that. But that's kind of cute. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but just like cute little freckles. If I had like my makeup done, I feel like it'd be cuter. Um, but they sent a bunch of stuff. So the freckle pen, um, this one is the Noir for darker skin tone. So probably use this, but I kind of like how the brown looks. It's more like discreet, like not so in your face. You know what I mean? So that's cute. Um, and then this is the cheek slime in the shade Cuffed. So a little bit of like a cheek tint if you're going for like a natural look. And then this one is in the shade Fielding. And then we have this, which is super cool. I wanna try this actually. This is called Rich Bitch. And it's a cactus and vitamin C moisturizer, which is like the name is like, honestly what gets me i love the packaging also just super cute and yeah i just <laughs> rich bitch that's so funny so a bunch of new stuff in that i am excited to try i have not really been doing makeup that often i've just been kind of like trying to focus on my skin i've actually been breaking out a little bit which is really annoying that is what's up um i think i'm gonna make a margarita right now for tyler and i because why not you know it's the weekend uh, I'm just putting my earring in and all right so got my earring in this is my jewelry outfit for today um this is what I'm wearing my closet is a mess I have not organized my closet since I moved so I definitely need to get on that but this is my outfit this dress is from Zara I hauled this like a couple months back. This is one of my favorite pieces that I have ever picked up from Zara. It's so cute. It's just like very like tennis girl vibes into it. Um, have some jewelry on from Ana Luisa, Lily Class, kind of a mix of things. My shoes are from Target. Super cute, just like leather slip-ons. And yeah, it's my outfit. We're not really doing much, but I went to the grocery store, decided to get ready because that is the only place we have been going these days. So figured why not? So yeah, it's outfit. All right, let's go make some drinks. That doesn't work. Huh? Doesn't what doesn't work? You can't, you can't use isolated food processor. You can't? No, it's not crushing them. Oh, let's just do... um. Can you do the strawberries? Yeah. Let's just do that then. 
Okay. This was not a good idea. <laughs> Alright, I need to order a blender. Yeah. Waking up feeling like it's gone away. It's sunny up, but it just comes in waves. I'm gonna use these glasses from CB2. I broke the other two. That thing. That I do not know. I have to go there. Yep. There Sorry if I'm not in the mood. I don't really have a good excuse. When you ask me if I'm okay, I don't have a lot to say. Can't tell you something I do not know. Maybe just hold me, just hold me. I'm coming back slow. So slowly, and you ask if I'm always this lonely. How can I tell you something I do not know? All right, it's Sunday. We've had quite the day. Tried to vlog earlier, but it was so early that it was just like too dark, wasn't working out. But we went to the Long Beach Antique Market and it was actually really cool um we've never been before so it was nice to go get a like little lay of the land see what's there they had a lot of cool stuff had some sanufo stools and every time i see those like i want them but i was like you do not need that so i did not get anything we were there literally for like four hours we woke up at 4 a.m got to the antique market at around like five-ish the line was long already at like 5 30 which is insane so like people are like serious about their antiques so we got there around like 5 30 we stayed till like about 8 39 so we were there for a pretty long time i storied everything i wanted to get it for you guys on like the vlog but i just ended up not vlogging because it was just like there was a lot of people it was crazy so it was just easier to just story so if you guys want like more real-time content i definitely encourage you to follow me on instagram because i'm always posting stuff on there that like i don't post on the vlog like sometimes you'll see stuff on stories that you won't see on here on youtube so i just encourage you to follow me on all platforms so you get all the content but yeah so we went to the antique market got burritos came back took a fat nap because we were up since like four we took a nap and we actually went to volkswagen to test drive some cars so didn't get anything but just wanted to test drive i think i found her so we'll see see what happens we also stopped at the japanese market so i wanted to show you guys what we got i don't know what any of this stuff is a lot of it is like snacks so this 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 i know these are snacks this is noodles tyler's gonna make some type of dish this is soba noodles mm -hmm. this is like kombi or kombu powder or you dip these in like a sauce and so this is backup in case I can't make it with this. This is dried kelp. Well, mm. says right there. well yeah. But Most of this called... stuff is not in English, though, so it's like... I mean, this uh, obviously you can tell it's noodles, but... The most important thing... Got some of this. Roasted seaweed. These. What those are these, are... the little flakes? Yeah, those are bonito flakes. So they're like fish flakes, and you use them to make... The stock. Or, or cool. The stock to get the we got a bunch of snacks, got some drinks to try. 
and this is the funniest drink that I got. I saw this was like a dollar and I'm like, eh, why not? So Tyler was like, that's so funny. You go to the Japanese market and you get a strawberry. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna Just pop that open. Just great. Should we taste test some of the snacks? Yeah, let's taste this. Let's try this peach thing first. You guys are Look, at a weird angle right that's now. That's it. Exactly. Mm. Cheers. It's butt. Peach butt. <laughs> These are very sweet. Oh, I think this is surprising. Yeah, I don't like this rubber either. I haven't had these in so long. Whoa. That just smells like peach and candies. Yeah, it does. I didn't try it yet. Is it good? Mmm. Is it like really sweet? I mean, it's like... It's sweet. It says it has no sugar. Really? Water, peach juice, high fructose corn syrup. So, and then sugar. It's not on this thing, it has no sugar, but it definitely has sugar. Oh, maybe it has a fake sugar. Should we try these? Watermelon gummy candy. It says only 46 calories. Yeah, right. I don't believe that for a second. Liars. Yeah. Do they come in individual wrappers? Mm hmm. Good. Okay. Mm, I like those. Yeah. Those aren't too sweet. Mm -mm. Those are pretty good. Mmm, these are good. It's yummy. I have no idea what those are. But I don't know what they are, I don't know what they say, but. Those are good. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, they're not spicy. Like that. They're, They're kind of like a funion. Mm -hmm. A non spicy funion. Yeah, I like that. Mm. <laughs> no. Alright, that's another thing you don't like. You don't like. Green tea, unsweetened green tea, and black coffee. <laughs> Got it. You're welcome. Those are the things that you can keep. You can have those. Great. Me and Tyler always talk about, because I would say my taste had, was pretty bland before I met Tyler. Like, I didn't like sushi. I didn't like red wine. I was, like, basic bitch. Like, definition. Like, I mean, you still don't really like chocolate, but now you'll eat chocolate. Yeah. I don't really love chocolate, like it's not my favorite. But once I started dating Tyler, he introduced me to red wine and now I love it. He introduced me to sushi and I like crave it every single week. Chocolate, I can eat like Reese's. It depends. There are certain chocolates I, for the most part I don't like chocolate, but some chocolates I do like. So the only things that he really has to hold on to that like I don't like because every time he has something, I'm like, give it to me because he put me onto it. The only things he has for himself are green tea and black coffee. That's really it. And the only thing you have to yourself is nothing because I eat everything. Always eats my shit. <laughs> well, you have beef. Any kind of beef, I won't eat. Yeah, but you'll eat it. Like if my Probably mom, like if my mom makes legume, you'll eat it. Yeah, but if you order like a steak, I'm probably gonna be like. Oh, give me, give like me some, yeah. Steak. Yeah. Mm. So you have that. These are dangerous. These little gummy candies. Can I have one of those? It's good that they're wrapped in individual things, because if they weren't, they'd be gone. They'd be gone. Yeah. Okay. Waste the plastic. We gotta put those away. I don't want that. You have more. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, we went to the car dealership. As you guys know, I still don't have a car. <laughs> it's been like almost a year but we went to the car dealership to test drive a car we really like it i don't know if i'm gonna put the footage in here or not i more so recorded 
just for my own purposes but we'll see but I really liked it and I think I'm like finally ready to pull the trigger if I find a version of the car that is a couple years old it's a good price point good mileage all that I think it's nice to go test drive the brand new spiffy version whatever and then find the same one that's a couple years old because it's literally the exact same and you get to save money so i'm trying to be smart the guy didn't pressure me to come in his office or anything like that i was telling tyler like if i was buying a brand new car i would go to him because he's like so how'd you like it and i was like oh i really liked it like still want to do my research and think about it he's like yeah take your time thanks so much for coming and i was like i was shook because normally when you go to dealerships they're so pushy and they like try to like say oh right now we're having the best deals zero percent financing like oh you can get this deal it only lasts until this date whatever my camera died um but yeah like i was saying usually they're super pushy and he was not pushy at all so if i was buying a brand new car i would totally go to him but unfortunately i'm not so yeah hopefully and i don't know we'll see i found one that i really like um obviously i'm not gonna buy a car tomorrow so maybe in a, a month or two who knows we'll see for now i'm gonna enjoy my strawberry <laughs> <laughs> from the japanese market the best strawberry comes from the japanese market <laughs> Stay looking out the window and how late do you plan on going nowhere?